In this lecture, we are going to create a MongoDB database hosted on cloud. So in this course, we are not going to use a local MongoDB database installed on our machine. Instead, we are going to use a remote MongoDB database hosted on a service called as Atlas, which is also maintained by the same company as MongoDB. Now, in order to work with Atlas, again, first we need to go to mongodb.com and it will open the home page of MongoDB website. There, we need to go to products. In the products, the first option which you will see is the platform. And in this option, you will see Atlas. So once you will click on that link, it will take you to a new page. Now, Atlas is a so-called database as a service provider, which takes away all the pain of managing and scaling database away from us. And that's why we are going to use Atlas for hosting our MongoDB database, which we are going to use for our real-time chat application. Now, in order to use Atlas, first, you need to create an Atlas account. And to create an Atlas account, you simply need to click on this try free button and it is going to open up this form. You need to fill your details in this form and you need to agree to the terms of services and privacy policy and click on this create Atlas account button. And this will create a new account for you. Now, in my case, I already have an account with Atlas. So I can simply click on this sign in link. And when I click on that link, it will take me to the login page. So here I'm in the login page and I have created my Atlas account using my Google account. So in order to sign into my Atlas account, I'm going to use my Google account. So I'll select this option. And as you can see, using my Google account, now I am logged into my Atlas account. Now in this account, I have one cluster, which is named as cluster zero. And in this cluster, I have one database. So if I click on this browse collections, it will show me all the collections which I have in that cluster. If you see, there I have one database called Cineflex and in that database I have one collection called Movies. But here what I want is, I want to create a new database. For that, I can simply click on this Create Database button. Here, let's provide a name for our database. I'm going to call it as Quick Chat. Let's also specify a collection which we want in that database. I'm going to call it as Users. And then we can simply click on this create button in order to create that database. So as you can see that quick chat database has been created. And in that database, we also have this users collection. All right. Now, once we have this database, what we want is we want to connect to this quick chat database using our MongoDB compass. So in the last lecture, we installed this MongoDB compass and here, we need to provide a connection string in order to connect to a MongoDB database. So for that, let's go back to Atlas. And there, what we need to do is, we need to go to Overview. And here we need to click on this Connect button. And we want to connect to the MongoDB database which we have created in our Atlas account using MongoDB Compass. So I'm going to select this option. And here I have MongoDB Compass installed. So that option is already selected here. And here I need to choose the version of the Compass which I'm using. And we can see the version in About Compass of this Compass GUI. So here, let's go to this Help. And here let's select About MongoDB Compass. And you can see the version is 1.43.6. So let's go back and here, 1.38 or letter is selected. So this is okay because our version is 1.43. Right, our version is 1.43. So it is higher version than what is selected here. So let's keep this option selected. And now we can copy this connection string. Let's open notepad. And in here, let's paste that connection string. Okay, now in this connection string, we need to replace this admin so this admin is the user id and here we need to replace this db password with the password of that admin user in my atlas account so let me close this by clicking on this done button so for my atlas account i have already created one user and in order to see that user what we can do is 
we can go to the security section and from there we can click on this database access once you will click on that database access here you will see all the users of your atlas account currently in my case i have only one user which is this admin user that's why here you can see that admin already selected now in your case if you are creating a new user or if you have created a new atlas account in that case here instead of seeing this admin you will see db underscore username so you need to replace that db underscore username with an actual username now if i go back to atlas in my case i already have a user here but if you don't have a user you can click on this add new database user button so what i will do is here i'm going to create a new user instead of using this admin user i'll create a new user for my new database and here i'm going to select the authentication method as password let's specify a username here so here i'm going to call it as quick chat user you can call it anything so i'm specifying the username as quick chat user and then let's specify a password now here instead of specifying password by myself i'm going to click on this auto generate password button which is going to create a password for us so i'll copy this username and here let me create a username and i'll assign it this username to that and let me also create a password and for this password i'm going to copy the password which we have auto generated for that i'll click on this copy button and i'll assign that password and now in this connection string we are going to use this user for connecting to our quick chat database so instead of using this admin user i'm going to use that user so i have replaced that username with this quick chat user and let's replace this db password with the password which we just copied so let me copy this password and let's paste it here okay and let's go back so here we have specified the username we have specified the password now let's also select a role so for that we can click on this add built-in role and from here we can select a role here i'm going to provide read and write to any database okay so for this user i'm providing read and write access to any database we can also select a custom role here if you want but i want to keep things simple so that's why i have just selected a built-in role and now let's simply go ahead and let's click on this add user button you will see that that user has been created here okay and now what we need to do is we have specified that username and password in this connection string so this is the username and this is the password now we need to copy this connection string and we are going to use this connection string to connect to our mongodb database basically to connect to this quick chat database from mongodb compass so let's click on this ok button now and here let's specify that connection string and when we have specified that connection string from that connection string as you can see all the information is taken so in the connection string we are using mongodb plus srv so as you can see this connection string starts with mongodb plus srv then if i go to authentication part they will see that the username and password is automatically selected from that connection string all we have to do now is we have to click on this connect button in order to connect to that database and you can see now we are connected to our atlas server and here you can see all the database which we have in that server and the database which we are interested in is this quick chat database there we have this user collection and in this collection currently we don't have any records we don't have any document so in this way we created this quick chat database in atlas and we have connected to this atlas server from our local machine using this mongodb compass by providing the connection string of our server now in the next lecture we are going to connect our express application to the mongodb database which we have created in atlas server